Hi, my name is Hugh Evans and I'm the CEO of the Global Poverty Project and I'm joined today by an extraordinary man by the name of Seth Berkeley, who is the CEO of the Global Alliance of Vaccines and Immunizations. He's championing the global fight to really ensure that children have vaccines and that people live beyond the age of five and I really want to ask him some questions today about his work and how he first got passionate. Seth, it's great to have you and thank you so much for being with us. It's great. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Tell us, um, I'm interested to know a bit more about where your work began and uh, why did you become so passionate about vaccines? Vaccines are amazing things. They prevent disease, obviously, and, and, and death. And one of the important things in the countries we work, children get these diseases. They uh, can't go to school. Their families get tipped into poverty because they have to pay out of their pockets for the diseases they have. They lose life and family sizes are larger. So this is a tool that we can get out to people to prevent these diseases and ultimately make a healthy society and healthy families. And so, uh, you know, I'm just passionate about the excitement of what that can do. And where did it start for you personally? Well, vaccines are the most amazing technology for trying to improve health. They're cost effective, they can get out to all the people who need them, and they really target very important diseases, diseases that we've forgotten about in the West. And so in the countries that we're working, if these diseases go on, one sees not only enormous number of deaths, but you also see a lot of morbidity and you see, you know, uh, poverty spread, families tipped into poverty. So they're very powerful as a way to reduce poverty. What can the average person do to support you right now? Well, first is to learn more about what we're trying to do. Come to the Gavi website, which is gavialliance.org. Follow us on Twitter. Go to the Global Poverty Project and continue to follow the, the, their following of the work we're doing. Obviously, we would accept donations, but also what we'd like to do is, you know, make this into a movement. We'd like our political leaders to know this is a good use of taxpayers' money in, in countries. But also, we're trying to change the market for vaccines. We're trying to say to companies, there's a different way to work. When a new product comes out, we should make that available to everybody. So the more we can get people to engage, then see this vision of a world without these diseases. After all, if we're going to meet the Millennium Development Goal 4, this is a critical component of it. Today, Every 20 seconds, a child is still dying from a vaccine-preventable disease. So you, now we've been talking about what Gavi is doing and how we might possibly work together with the Global Poverty Project, but you're doing this amazing thing this weekend. Can you tell me about that? Sure. So this weekend, we have 60,000 global citizens come into the Great Lawn of Central Park for a concert of epic proportions. We have um, Neil Young with Crazy Horse. We have the Black Keys, the Foo Fighters, Band of Horses and Canine all bringing together United around the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals with a particular focus on health and on education. And so we really want to, through this, encourage world leaders to honour the commitments they made back in the year 2000 to achieve the Millennium Development Goals by 2015 and make specific and tangible commitments to the world's poor. Well, that's fabulous, and it'd be amazing to be able to take those tools and focus them on something as tangible as getting the world's who are vaccinated. Yeah, we'd be delighted to do that with you in the future. That would be really exciting. So thank you very much for joining us here today on this web video. We hope we can see you at the concert on the weekend, if not on the live stream worldwide. And please join us in supporting the cause of vaccines for every child through the Global Alliance of Vaccines and Immunizations. Thank you, Seth, for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.